All right, we're going to be taking a look at Vista Create, and this is about as close to a Canva, full-blown Canva alternative that I've ever seen. I mean, you'll, when I log in and show you, you'll even just get a sense that you're inside of Canva based on the user interface and so forth. But I'm taking it for a, um, a first look, so I have not actually used the software, and we're going to go and take a look at it together. So join me in this review. Now, if you're seeing this on Monday, Cyber Monday, December 2nd, then you uh, and you want to go and pick this up, you'll be able to take part in the 10% off Black Friday sale on AppSumo. If you are a Plus member, then this is your chance to get 20% off of a tool like this. So Vista Create, you can use 200,000 templates and 70 million royalty-free assets to design cool graphics for your brand. Uh, it's got 336 reviews, and it looks like it's about a 4.4 stars when I look right there. The tier one pricing, let's go down here to the, it looks like you can get basically a pro version or a pro account. One-time purchase, $89 instead of 120. You can read through all this. You get unlimited storage, infinite brand kits, team account, background removal feature. So already, I mean, this is, we'll see how good this really is, right? Now, keep in mind, I am a Canva Pro user and I've been using that for years and years. And so what is the calculation? I think it's about $13 a month that I pay for Canva. So that'd be 13 times 12. I pay about $156 per year for Canva. And let's just say I've been subscribed to them for at least five years. So I've spent about $780 on Canva Pro. It's just something that I don't mind spending $13 a month for having the premium. You're really paying for the premium features like the background removal with Canva and you're paying for the premium assets, the pro assets that you can only use with the pro account. Those are the big reasons. I don't get too into the brand kits and so forth, but that could be a big deal to you. Looks like going back to Vista Create, we also have scheduling and posting the Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. That might be really cool to look at. I think I'm going to want to look at that one, particularly Pinterest, because I do have a Pinterest website, AI website project going, as you guys know. And so I would be interested to see what we can create quickly with Pinterest and so forth. And I do like that you can add a team member without spending more money. So overall, without even diving into it, I really think that the pricing is really a good deal. I would like to see how long Vista Create has been around just so we can kind of get, I mean, they have really good reviews and so forth. But one thing that I do is I'll go into like reviews, for example, I know this isn't their first time on the platform, but I'll come over here to sort by the oldest and we'll see when they launched. And this was back in 2018. So this is a great way when a deal comes back, this is a great way to feel good about your purchase. So they've been started since 2008. So we're looking at, it's almost 2025, right? So five, six, seven, for seven full years, this company has been around. So they're already st standing the test of time when it comes to these lifetime deal launches and actually staying around for a, for many years. So you you can definitely make this purchase with confidence that it's probably going to be around for five more years if I had to imagine. They also have their company size posted right here of 51 to 200 employees. This is a big business. They actually started in 2015 before they launched on AppSumo in 2018. So they were actually launched three, three years before they even came to AppSumo. So this is a company that's been around for 10 years. I definitely can highly recommend it. If you're going based off of comfort, comfortability and just that kind of peace of mind is the software going to be around for a long time i would say yes it is let's go dive in and take a look at what it looks like so we're going to log in now i am using a free account right now and i imagine it's a lot like canva and this will actually be good because we'll be able to look inside and see what the limitations are of not having a pro account and this might entice you to need or want to buy that pro account so we're going to be using the free account right now but when you log in right now you can definitely get a feel of like canva even just the way that they put the top banner up here the search feature right here in a sense there's a little bit of copying going on in my opinion opinion. But if it's a full-blown alternative, then hey, for 89 bucks, and never have to spend again. I've spent about $800 on Canva Pro, right? So let's go and see if this can actually do it. The first thing I like to do is just come in here. If you want to do a custom size, you just come in here and you would say either by width or height, and you can go by pixels, or you can go based on inches. I usually would go like width eight, eight and a half by 11 and create design, right? So that would be used, very useful if you needed a specific size, but I like to go in here. Let's go see if we could create a thumbnail real quick with Vista Create. 
So we're gonna come through, it's gonna say remove background features and so forth. I'm gonna go ahead and just exit out of that and just see what the ease of use. But even just the icons alone and everything, it's almost like a Canva employee quit working at Canva and came over here and went to work for Vistacrete or created their own account. It is very similar to what you get in Canva, which in a sense is a good thing because so many people, about 800 million people or something like that are using are using Canva. So now naturally you would want it to be similar so it would be easy to use. So we're inside of all the the templates over here for for a thumbnail design. And let's just go over here. I don't know. So top tips right over here. So let's just say show more. Let's go look and see what they've got over here. You can hover over and if you hover over the top left, it'll actually bring it onto your screen like this. So that's kind of cool. It gives you a nice preview on the center of the screen, what you can look at right over here. So we could come in here and just look at different ones. So this one actually looks pretty cool. Let's see if we could actually use this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. We can actually push the heart button right here. It's gonna to add to our favorites as well. And then looks like our favorites would be over here. So we could click on favorites and we should have that one showing up right over here. So, so far I'm really liking this. I'm gonna go ahead and Click on this and we're going to say, hey, top five AI. So I'm doing a control Z to get back to where I was at. I'm gonna do hover over this control A and then I'm gonna say AI writing apps. And then I'm gonna click off and nothing, uh, so my text is gone. I'm not sure what ended up happening. Let me come back to control Z and we'll come back over here. And I'm not really sure what's going on with this when I try to change this. It just didn't seem like it was working too well. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this again, AI, and it seems to be working now. I'm not really sure what happened. Super weird. AI writing tools. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this over and probably get rid of the this text right here. We're going to grab this and I don't know if it's grouped or not. It's not grouped. So what we would do is we would hover over this. We would push the shift button and hover over the shape and hover over both. And I'm trying to see where a group is. There is a group button. So one thing it's natural. I'm going to compare a little bit to, to Canva because I spend a lot of time in Canva, but they have a lot of tools that kind of show up immediately right above here, like the group tool. So in this case to group this, I'd, there's probably a short key. I don't obviously don't know the short keys right now. Most people, let's be honest, don't memorize short keys for very many things. So you are going to have to come over to here and push the group button, which isn't that big a deal, just something to point out. So now what I would do is I would actually make this way bigger right here. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over like that. Now I'm going to move the other text that we had over right over here. So, so far it is operating very similar to what you would expect in like Canva, which I'm actually, I like, I'm very used to using Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and go something like that. And then what we can do is obviously the shape over here, we can make this bigger, we can adjust it or just get rid of it. I'm just going to get rid of it so that we could actually make this uh, even bigger, something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just use my arrow keys to make this go down a little bit. Looks pretty good. Now I want to do a test. I want to say, let's say this just writing, if I wanted to change the, the color right there, I want to see if we could change the color of that to something. And it does let us do that. It's very similar to Canva. So, so far, pretty impressed with what I'm seeing. If we hover over this and then we go into effects, we can come over here and we can use an outline effects, a shadow, curved, all kinds of good stuff over here. What I generally use is a shadow. So I want to go and test this out a little bit. Let's go with a shadow color and we'll go with a white color right here. And then now I want to see what kinds of things we can do to adjust this because I don't like the way that looks. So I do want to go and go back out of color fill. And then now we can adjust the size and the blur and the distance and so forth. So like right now the angle, I'm gonna go with the size and make that smaller. So that's a shadow. So we made it as small as we can. I would like to make it smaller than that. The blur, we can really make it blur. Now I will say that the fine tuning on this is a little bit different than what you kind of get. Even though you kind of have these same settings in Canva, the way it's kind of acting and looking is a little bit different than Canva. Might be, depending on what you're looking for, a good thing or a bad thing. But what I would do, the distance and the angle is too much. So I would probably want to make the distance a little, see, we just want a little bit like, like, like that, right? So I would adjust the distance and then maybe the angle is actually pretty good like that. Now you can also go with transparent text if you want. That's kind of cool, but we're looking pretty good right there. And then I want to hover over this and just see what kind of spacing that we can do. The letter spacing, if we want to make the letters go 
wider, then we can do that. We can come back in like so, and then we can go line height. We can uh, kind of move this in. Now, one thing that I would like to see is nothing happens when I'm moving this until I let go of the left mouse button. In Canva, it adjusts immediately so you can actually see exactly where you need to go. So those are just some fine tuning type things that are just a little bit um, different between the two tools. Again, probably not something that um, is a big deal, but just things that, I, that I'm that i noticing, okay? So we have that. Uh, let's say we wanna go and let's bring in a picture of mine. I'll be right back. Let's see how we do this, okay? So we want to change this guy right here. We wanna change him out. I'm gonna go ahead and just, we can edit the image, we can apply a mask, we can do different things, we can animate it, apply colors from an image, and then I'm gonna right click and see, we can. We have all these different options right over here. So, I mean, overall, I mean, we're really close to Canva. We're like 95% there with just pretty much everything. So it's very impressive. It's pretty close to a replacement so far from just creating an, a Canva, sorry, a YouTube, thumbnail like I do in Canva and many people do. But I'm gonna go ahead and left click on this, push delete and remove that. And then now let's go over to uploads. We have no uploads, but I'm gonna go and upload an image. So we'll come over here and we'll just grab, let's just grab this image over here of myself, bring this in and it's kind of downloading, I think, to speed up the web app performance where you can press images while displaying them on the website. Cool, uh, keep cool, your downloaded image will be in high quality, got it, okay. It looks like you can manage folders and so forth, which is cool, but I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this image by left-clicking it in here, and now we have this image right over here. One thing I wanna do now is I wanna do a remove background. They do have it nice and tidy right up here, one of the first main options because they know that people are, use this a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do remove background and we cannot do the background because that is a free, uh, that is a paid option that definitely makes sense. So they're not gonna let you even use the remove. And I'm pretty sure that in, in Camp Free, you are not able to use the remove background. And it's one of the main reasons why you subscribe. So this was a perfect example to show you of why you might wanna pick up this to create because you're going to need to use the remove background option, okay? So the only way that we could do this now is bring it into another tool, which causes more time on your part, right, in order to do that. So just keep in mind, that is something that we would want to do, is we would want to use a background removal tool. But what we'll do is we'll just go and remove background real quick. So we'll go to remove BG, and I'll just go and do this real quick for you. We'll go in there, we'll open, and then we can just push the download button right here. Then we can go back into Vista Create and remove that and then come back in here to upload and grab our uh, image again right there. And it's gonna come through real quick and then we'll go ahead and click on that. So looks pretty cool. One thing I would like to do is I'm gonna move that in like that and then move up like this is I wanna left click on this and see, and, and we can see that it's not very, it's kinda of getting pixelated right there, it doesn't look too good. But I wanted to come in here and say e edit image, we might be able to go and put some different filters on this. But I wanna see if they had a, let's see, I wanted to see if they had a an auto, like in Canva they have an auto feature where it will basically, AI will take a look at your image and n kind of know what kind of brightness and contrast and tint and all the saturation and all those things to put on your image to make your skin and everything pop the best way that, that it, AI thinks it should. I'm not seeing that as a ability over here. There's a mask uh, feature right there. Nope, don't wanna do that. So I'm not really seeing that as a as an option. Another big thing that you need to be aware of, and that's going to separate this tool from Canva, which is a multi-million dollar tool that they have millions and millions of dollars to develop and they're adding new features all the time. And so that's something to keep in mind that up here with like tools, right? So we're looking through here, we have favorites, brand kits, styles, text, background, objects, music, videos, photos, uploads. We don't have a bunch of different tools, like hundreds of different AI tools, text to grab, object grab, magic erase. We All those tools that Canva has worked years on and has spent millions of dollars on, We I'm not seeing those 
inside of Vista Create. And that's probably going to be the big separator right now. I'm just going to tell you this is for creating graphics. This is a, about a 95% match to Canva. It's very good. Definitely worth $89, especially if you don't want to, to pay for Canva. This could be a pretty good replacement. But if you use any of those other AI tools in Canva, then it, it's kind of not a replacement. So I hope that I kind of explain that the best way that I can. Nonetheless, I'm going to come over here and this is what this would look like as we would just kind of move that up like that. Maybe we make this a little, maybe we make the circle a little bit bigger or less. So I'm going to move the circle over and I'm going to just move that over like that. And then we're going to put the text right here. And I also want to see if I can make just the AI bigger. And that part is another difference between the two Canva and this tool is that in Canva, you can actually highlight one line inside of this text box right here, you can actually make one size of text bigger. And I don't think that you can do that in here. So this is where you really do this fine granular stuff and you actually can start seeing the differences between the two, two tools. Although on the surface and looking at them, they're like 95% the same, but there are some differences in here when you really start using it, especially if you're a Canva user for years and you use it daily. What I would need to do in this case is I would need to go like this and do a control X and just remove that. And then I would come up over here and then I would go like this, right? And then I would move this down and I would say a control V and then we have our text right there, but we don't have our, we don't have it in the same format. So I want to see if there's a paint, like a copy format button, and I'm not seeing that over here. And that's something that in Canva I see a lot too. So there's a, a duplicate lock, align, more layer, and what is this? Apply mask and effects animate uh, link. So there isn't one of those right here, but I know a quick way of, to do this, which would be to just remove this. Go like this and copy and, and you can do a control C, control V, or you can just push the duplicate button up here. And then now you have this new duplicate button right here. And then what I would do is I would just go like this and double click right here and say AI. And then I would shrink this down and then I would go and make this a lot bigger like that. And then I would maybe center it. So the centering and all that stuff works really well. And then we would come through here and do something like this. And then maybe come up here and center the text right here, something like that, and then move this over like so. So something like that, maybe we would do something different with the text down here. We would double click on all this control a, and then we would go into effects one more time. So that would be over here. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this thumbnail, but this is kind of what I do on a daily basis. I'm making thumbnails very quickly and I just want to see how it reacts and what it does. Let's go over here to outline over here. And maybe we don't want the transparent text. We want this to be thicker. Let's make that thick right there like that. And, and I'm not really seeing, I would like the thickness of the outline to be thicker and I'm not seeing that as well. So those are some really, some things like when I'm moving this right here, I'm not seeing that it's getting thicker. And so that part is kind of, kind of interesting. You would expect it to get thicker and they're just not seeing that it's actually doing a whole lot. Maybe we go like that and eight is the max. So kind of an interesting thing right there, but there you go. Then you would just move your image in a little bit like, so there's a simple, obviously we would do more to this. We would go into photos and we would look at different photos, maybe a robot. Maybe we can go in here and find some type of robot we want to put in here. They're not going to let us on that one because this little premium feature. So that's going to be very similar to what you find in Canva. It's going to mark what you can and can't use. And I don't see a filter option. So I'd love to come up here and use a filter and look for just free. They also don't allow that. And so that is another kind of big navigation thing that I use every day and we're not able to do that. Right. So we go with like this and then I want to go in here and maybe go into edit image and then maybe I just throw in some type of filter on this and I want to apply, I want to apply something like on the, on the outside of this image. And I'm not seeing the ability to do that as well. Usually it's under edit image in, in Canva and I'm not seeing how I can add a shadow even or an outline, even to just the outline of the image. So those are definitely some differences that I'm seeing. Come over here and we'll so search for robot and videos. I have a, a little bit of a uh, suspicion that there's not as many assets uh, as Canva is going to have in here. And so I, I think that Canva has a better just overall filtration system when you're looking for images and videos and so forth. So, but they do have some videos in here as well. 
music, objects. You can come in here and look at objects as well. Another thing that I think is just a little bit easier about Canva is the ability to, when you're in the assets button, basically in Canva, you can look for animations and graphics and photos and videos all in the same search um, area instead of having to go to another category over here. So that's something that is just uh, something to note as well. Here's your backgrounds, your text, your styles, brand kits. This is where you would go and you could add a brand kit. I'm sure on a free account, I probably can't do a whole lot with this, but this is your brand kit and then your favorites. I want to go back to text and just look at maybe adding one more box of text here. And then I just want to see kind of what kind of texts and fonts that they have. It looks like there's quite a bit to choose from. It takes a minute to load. And they do have a lot of text to choose from inside of here as well. So that part's pretty cool. So overall, I mean, there's a little thumbnail that we made real quick. Let's go back to Vista Create over here and see what it looks like. So here's your recent designs. If you needed to come in and make a Facebook post, they have all these nice templates over here. Let's go, if we wanna look at just social media, we can go down here and look at all the Instagram stuff right here, all the Facebook stuff, push the arrow, we can go look and there's the YouTube stuff, uh, WhatsApp, uh, Twitch, Twitter, LinkedIn, chat, and uh, Tumblr banner right there. Featured templates right over here. We'll click on the templates button and you can get to looking at all the templates from over right there. We have our creative assets kind of library, royalty free stock photos for impressive graphic design. This is where you can go and probably search for what you want, download it, and then use it in a design, which is kind of like a deposit photos type thing. Uh, I'm not sure if the creative assets library is available when you're inside of the design. It would be nice to know that, but I would imagine probably not because uh, then they wouldn't have this whole section over here. Here's some tutorials that you can go and learn about your brand kits right over here as well. This is where you can add your new brand kit. You do have to have a pro account for that. And then you have different projects and so forth. Where is the team men member area? We come over here and you would go and try to look and see where you would actually create a team. This is where you'd create your team and so forth. So I don't think there's a whole lot to really show other than because we know that they don't have the tools that Canva do like the AI uh, image and videos and there's just a, a you can't this is where the part of the video where I'm going to kind of voice my opinion on just is this a Canva replacement? Uh, no, it's not. If you utilize Canva more than just creating some simple graphics, Canva is still going to absolutely win. It's backed with millions of dollars. It's been around for like 10, 15 years. It's one of the biggest tools like this on the planet. And so, but if you want a replacement that you can add a team member to, add your brand, add, uh, like, so I guess the major positive about this is that this is probably the best and closest uh, Canva replacement that I've seen hit a lifetime deal or AppSumo. And so I think that's saying a lot because there has been a lot of design tools. For example, let's just for fun, We'll come over to AppSumo and I want to go to software real quick and just see what's currently out there. Media tools and let's go with like photo, all these different ones right over here that we have. And I did one not too long ago and let's just go to media tools in general. Just look at some of these. And there's nothing on here that's really jumping out that would be able to do more than what this Vista Create is going it can do. And so with that said, I would say that this is the best LTD and the closest Canva replacement that you're going to find as an LTD or on AppSumo. And that says a lot because there is 336 reviews and it's 4.4 stars and they've been around since 2015. So do I recommend this tool? I absolutely recommend this tool. And if I had to give it a rating, I probably in all being relative, right? I got to be relative uh, to what we're looking at and the minimal viable product. Can you go and create some social media um, assets? Can you remove backgrounds with this deal? Yes. Can you, does it have some good text features and some image uh, features and stuff? Can you create, uh, I kind of judge it based on, can I create my YouTube thumbnails uh, with this software? Absolutely. This would be a great replacement. And if you're only using it in that case, and you don't really use a whole lot of those other tools like the magic erase and the AI image and the AI video creation and the text grab and all those things. And, and you just need this kind of simplicity. Then Vista create could actually replace your Canva 
what you do in Canva for creating your social media assets and YouTube thumbnails. So overall, if I was comparing the, the two tools, Canva would get a five. It would get a five star. There's just, it's an amazing tool. But Vista Create would probably get about a 4.4 or 4.5. I'm going to be generous and give this a 4.5 stars because it really comes close to Canva for the simplicity and ease of use. And you can create some really good social media assets and YouTube thumbnails with Vista Create. So I, it's not a full blown replacement, but it's pretty darn close. Vista Create, uh, I was impressed with this tool. And you can get, they only have one price. You, you can get, you can pick it up the pro version for life for 89 bucks. And w- that actually really makes this, when you combine the $89, less than a hundred bucks, and you combine that they've been around for 10 years, it, it makes this uh, deal really good. So I would recommend this if you don't like paying for uh, monthly tools and you don't like paying for Canva and you just need simple graphics, I would highly recommend Vista Create 4.5. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next video.